Hi, this is Eli Brooke, and I'm here today to share a, another fun Creative Tuesday project. Today, we will be doing a galaxy painting, and for this painting, we're going to be using watercolor as well as some very interesting accessories. So today, we will be using some simple table salt um, to make stars in a galaxy painting. So to start off, first, I am using just a really large, soft fan brush and I'm doing a wash across the paper with lots and lots of water. I didn't do it here, but one tip is I would highly recommend you take just a little bit of masking tape, kind of double it over and tape your paper down. Uh, I was using a black poster board as a backer, so I didn't do that in this example, um, but if you're doing this at home, um, tape that paper down um, just with some tape on the back of the page, and that way your paper doesn't curl and you don't have to worry about holding it like I am here. Um, as I'm working around the paper, I'm getting lots of water on the paper. That's really important to help the colors blend and bleed. And I'm starting off with just some blues in the center, and then I went around the outside with a purple. And to get some texture, I've been using these little sponge um, brushes. I will link that and all of my supplies down below if you'd like. Um, and those links are affiliate links, so if you like any of the supplies or want to try something out here, please follow those. It really helps support my channel um, and helps keep me going on um, YouTube. So as you're um, kind of blending the colors, you can use whatever colors you want really here. Um, I'm going to be doing sort of jewel tones. So I'm using blue, purple, and a little bit of teal, and just kind of blending that in, making sure the paper is really, really wet, and I'm using that fan brush just to layer on the color. One trick um, is to go kind of from your lightest colors to your darkest colors as you go from the middle of the page out. So you can just add a bit more saturation as you, as you layer that color on. And I like to use kind of colors in a similar palette. Um, so you could do this with just about any color, you know, the pinks or the, you know, just all different shades of blue, maybe some yellow thrown in there. And then the thing that really makes the galaxy pop is adding dark color on the outside edge. So I'm taking some navy blue paint, and these are not your traditional watercolors. These are Gonzai watercolor, which is a Japanese type of watercolor. It uses a, a different type of base. Um, and they're just a little bit thicker and richer color. It's more like um, using kind of the tubes that you would find versus using kind of that chalky palette look. So um, I'm adding some darker spots in the middle too. So I'm gonna add just gradients as I go along. And again, keeping that paper very wet. If the paper starts to dry, I just add on more water with that fan brush. So these are really fun because you can do so many varieties of colors, of patterns, of just you know layered texture onto this. And there's not really a right or a wrong way. So actually, before I did this one, I actually made a couple of these just to play around and, and try out the technique. So this is my first time using table salt in painting, but it worked out really neat. Um, and you'll see that here at the end of the video, so keep watching. All right, here we go. Layering on the first layer of table salt. And I just sprinkle a little all over the paper, um, just with my hand. You can use a shaker if you want to, but I just kind of pinched and, and dabbled some on. And now, um, as that's absorbing some of the color, I'm going to add even more like black navy around the edge. Um, I'm actually using pure black here um, and kind of blending it into that navy. And you can just splotch the color on, um, like I said, no right or wrong way. And then use that fan brush with lots of water and let it kind of bleed together. And then, you know, I'm gonna keep layering here. I'm drying. Love this little fan. It's such a handy thing. I think it's meant for kind of, you know, travel or sporting events. Um, but it's really handy for painting or makeup or whatever you like to do. Um, has, it's actually pretty powerful too. So continuing to you know blend and bleed until it looks like what I want it to. And that takes a lot of layers. So you'll see here, just kind of keep adding on um, and you know just make it what you want it to be. That's the good thing about you know creative projects like this. You can use paper towels or sponges and kind of splotch things around. But the good thing is that it's yours, right? And you take the time out of your day, you do something fun and creative, and just make it your own. Now I'm gonna do something else fun here. I'm taking a bit of white watercolor paint and putting it on a fan brush, kind of a stiffer brush, and then just tap the other. And it gives this nice little splatter and stars, and if you're like me, it also gives a nice splatter to your shirt. So you may wanna wear an apron while you're doing this. 
um, but it makes a really pretty star pattern and then I'm just gonna let it, everything dry here I kind of like the way it's looking now so I think I'm gonna probably wrap up here pretty quickly and just do a little touch up around the edge where I, I might have been holding the paper but this is what it looks like when it dries the salt makes these pretty little star snowflake things so I hope you liked this video if you did take the time to like and subscribe it means the world thanks so much have a great day bye